Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and welcome back to another episode of the Small Town RP. And now you join us this morning in our new F450 with the flatbed conversion. However, while it is a beautiful morning out here, apparently someone in an orange, very lifted Dodge Ram SEMA truck had a uh, very not so beautiful night last night, and their hundred thousand plus dollar truck is now. On its side, partially rolled over up near Waterfall Canyon. So, we need to head on up there, and we need to see if we can, A, get it back on its wheels, depending on how badly wrecked it is, and then we need to see if we can get it on a trailer. Now... Because of where it is, I don't want to bring our huge gooseneck, but it's also too big for that equipment trailer that's got the mobile diesel pumps on it. So what we actually need to do is we need to borrow a trailer, but fortunately, I have a solution for that. Now, a couple of houses down on the other side of the road is one of our friends, and she has agreed to let us borrow her trailer, which is kind of like a flatbed, um, like, car hauler, essentially. But this is where it should be. Oh, it's literally right there. Although I feel a little bit like, I feel a little bit bad about borrowing somebody else's trailer, but like, I know that it's for a good reason. And it's also apparently, well, you know what? We're not gonna be the first ones to back through the grass to get that trailer. Apparently she's done it several times as well. Probably more than several. Now let's go ahead and back it up. We're just gonna go ahead and make sure that we can borrow this thing. Yes. I promise I'll bring it back, like, immediately right after we recover this truck. I promise. And apparently, well, apparently we can keep it for, you know, even if we need to keep it for, like, a, a day, like, an additional day and then bring it back. Apparently, that's completely fine. I just want to make sure we get it back as quickly as possible, considering the fact that it isn't ours. And I'm always a little bit iffy about using someone else's trailer or someone else's truck, uh, because it's like, you know, it's not my trailer. And I kind of like to make sure that, you know, somebody else's equipment comes back in the exact same condition that it was in when it left. So let's go ahead and make our way on out. God, this thing is so quick when it's not loaded. That's one of the biggest things that I notice about this thing is when it's not loaded, it's, I mean, it's pretty gnarly, like, for what it is and for how big it is. Now, it's running a tow tune, kind of a half tow, half performance type tune, but what we really need to do is we need to actually check in on the GPS and make sure that we're going the right way, because on the way out to Waterfall Canyon, it would be really easy for us to get turned around and lost, and I don't want that to happen, especially with a trailer and with a big truck like this. Well, here we go. I've never done anything like this with this truck before. I'm really, really, really hoping it can handle it. I think it can. I mean, we've got massive tires. We've got massive amounts of front clearance. If you didn't watch the video where we picked up this truck, it's running a set of 41s, so the, the tire size is not going to be an issue. Um, I'm just a little worried about the trailer, especially with, like, the level of terrain that we've got to go through, but, I mean, we're going to do our best. We're going to get as close to that truck as we can, and, I mean, I haven't even seen it yet, so... All I know is what I heard on the phone, and that was that the thing is on its side, it's very highly lifted, it's wide, it's got huge wheels and tires, and it is in a genuinely bad spot. I don't even know how they wound up in the spot that they're in. We're just gonna have to, like, take a closer look at it once we actually finally get out there, but the drive to get there is definitely more of an involved one than I would normally do in a truck like this, but at the same time, I knew that this was gonna be a better truck for this job than the Denali was gonna be, because this is obviously a lot higher clearance. The Denali would tear its bumper off back here. Well, actually, it's front and rear bumpers, plural. Not just singular bumper, but bumpers, multiple. So I think this thing is actually doing really well. It's cruising through here, no problem. We're just kind of easing it over these rocks, lumbering through. And we haven't really had any issues either with the trailer getting hung up, at least not yet. The part that's going to be really scary is the drive back, because if the truck is as lifted as they said it was, some of these areas on the way back are going to be genuinely tough and, well, not only genuinely tough to negotiate, but also genuinely tough to just keep the, the truck on the trailer. And, hey, you know, um, we're going to do our absolute best, but... This is kind of one of those, you know, as is, no warranty type situations because of where we had to go, um, there's a clause in the contract that says, you know, if the truck rolls off the trailer, well, 
Sorry. <laughs> but again, we're going to try our best to have that not be a scenario. The further we get down this trail, the worse it gets. It's actually a lot worse than I remember it being. And we're still, we've still got a little bit of a ways to go before we actually get to where this truck is stranded. And so I'm kind of scrambling in my brain right now, trying to think of an like a secondary way out because coming back out this way is gonna be next to impossible with that truck on the trailer so I'm I don't know I'm trying to figure out secondary options here because I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna pull this off I mean we're still gonna do it we're still gonna try but who it's a it's a big task I mean it, it's a lot bigger of a task than I originally thought it was gonna be actually so like when I took it on I was like oh it's gonna be a little bit challenging but in the grand scheme it's gonna be no big deal it's actually a lot more than that um it's a lot more than I thought it was gonna be I mean you can even see right here how sketch it's gonna be towing a truck through here I mean you can see how many times the trailer itself is getting hung up towing through here that section it actually did pretty well but like whoo I'm I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. Um, looks like we got somebody in a, like, little K-1500 hanging out up there. Do I see? Oh, I think I see the back end of the Dodge. Oh, my God. Is that as bad as... Yo, that's worse than I thought. Uh-oh. That's, like, that's not just bad. That's, that's genuinely terrible. There's the... Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, um, we're gonna get a, we're gonna start taking some photos for the, uh, the recoveries album, because look where we are, and look where that is. Yo, I don't even know how they got down there, much less how they rolled it over that bad. Okay, we need to come up with a plan. Because the water up there is going to be really deep. And I don't know how we're going to drive around this edge. But at the same time, do we really want to try and attempt the sketchy task of pulling it back up? The you know what? We're going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to. All right. It's going to go back here. Don't hit the K-1500. Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. All right. You're going to chill there. And now, well... We're going to pull out a tow strap, and we're going to try to get that thing up here. I mean, this is going to be very sketchy, but I mean, they put themselves in a really sketchy spot, and frankly, I'm not quite sure how they did it. I mean, holy smokes. Okay. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. Let's see what we can do. All right. Eeeh. I don't want to get too close to that edge. Oh my god! Easy. Okay. Now we are flexing the crap out of it in the rear. But let's see if we can get it to kind of slide down that edge. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now I think it's in a state where it won't roll over the rest of the way. Good. All right, now run the strap to the front and see if you can rotate it this way and get it to almost come up the side of the hill. I just don't know if this is going to actually work out. We're going to have to be real easy because there's a tree right there, but there's a rock right... Oh, my God. There's a rock right across from it. Okay, um... New plan. Nice and easy. New plan. New plan. New plan. Yep. It's working kind of. Kind of. Okay. So there we go. Now we need to just kind of reorient this truck. Maybe pull from this side? It still wants to tip. It still wants to tip. Okay. Well, this got a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay, how about we go for a side point there? I think it's less likely to flip if we do it this way. I just don't know how we're going to get it. Whoa! Back up that embankment. It is... It is in there. Okay. 
Hang on to it. Come on, hang on to it. Here we go. Because I have no room to turn around to the other side. All right, you know what? It's mad. It's upset. How about we come down here and we try to grab it from the lower area? Oh, easy. All right, so climb out onto this rock. This is, this is danger now. I mean, not that it wasn't danger before, but it's like, you know, double now. Oh, this is better. This is going to work, I think. I think. Ooh, easy. Come on. Oh, you're almost there. It's binding up on something. Is it bound up on that tree? No. I love how we get it right to where it can move, and it gets bound up on a tree. Like, thanks. Love it. Oh, we got it. Okay, now we just got to get it up the rest of the rock without it. What is it doing now? Oh, it's stuck on the edge of the rock. Oh, this has already become an ordeal and a half. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is going wrong. Oh, oh, wait, we're okay. Do not. Do not. <gasps> oh, my God. No, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, wait, maybe it'll right itself. That, you know what? I think we can still get it. I think we can still catch it. That was totally part of the original accident. Totally. I mean, this thing was already going to need to be entirely rebuilt anyway, so I don't know what we're complaining about. Okay. Now it's on its wheels. It's just sitting in the middle of the river. Now all we got to do is... Don't you even... Oh my god, all this thing wants to do is flip over. God, this like... This lift that they've got on it is, like, insanely tall, and it looks sick, but it's really annoying at how much it wants to flip over. All right, we got to get the trailer. We got to turn around, back up to the truck, and then winch it onto the trailer. This hopefully won't be too bad, but I could see it going any number of ways, honestly, with how everything has already gone. I could see this going any number of wacky, insane, crazy ways. I got to go really deep in the water here to avoid the K-1500 over there. Oh, this is entirely just insane. This is absolutely entirely insane. I, I'm i just not even remotely... Um, I, I'm not even going to remotely, like, try to describe how we got ourselves into this scenario. Uh, you know what? You know what? I might just run the world's longest winch line to here and just winch it onto the trailer from where it freaking is already. Because this is... This is starting to get to that point now, and I know that some of y'all might be like, No! You gotta back it all the way up! And I'm like, I, c I can try, but God, this has become terrible! Well, the trailer's already in a slightly better spot. Okay, I think we'll be okay now. I think we'll be okay now. Okay. And almost there. Alright. So from here, we actually should be able to winch it. Well, we really stressed the winch, but I'll tell you, we finally got it up there, and it is, it's a lot for that trailer. It, it's, it's definitely on the bigger end of what I would ever want to put on that trailer, but like, whoo, I am, we're pushing it on this one. We're, we're really, 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 really pushing it on this one. Like, holy smokes. Okay, I'm going to check the GPS real quick, because... The route to get out of here is going to be gnarly no matter which way you cut it. And I'm almost debating backtracking and going up here because I almost wonder if that would be easier than, um, than going down here. I, I'm really genuinely debating that because this was intense in a lot of areas. And ultimately, I did decide that taking the time to backtrack and make our way back around to a more uh like 
easily traversed trail was probably going to play out much in our favor over the long term uh, with getting this thing back to town. Yes, this trail has a few like mud pits and stuff like this easy there, um, but it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as some of the sections on that canyon trail where the trailer could get hung up, the trailer could roll over, the dodge could roll right off the side of the trailer. This is a lot more accessible for a truck and trailer combo like this. And while it is still going to have its challenges, it's not going to be a, you know, disaster around every corner kind of situation. And, you know, when you're in a situation like this, you kind of want to minimize the amount of potential disasters uh, that you have waiting around the corner. And, uh, you know, I definitely opted to minimize uh, disaster possibilities. So let's see. We are going to continue to go down this way, keep hanging a left, keep hanging a left, and then we'll end up on the main road again. Shouldn't be too bad. Crossing my fingers, hoping for the best on that one, but again, shouldn't be too bad. Look at that! It's the main road! Oh my god, this has taken so long to get back to. That, like, um, that, like, backtracked route from the canyon took a long, long time. Took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Thankfully, we are on our way back now, and we're also really able to let this built 6-4 open up up these hills. We've got it in high. We're just on the tow tune, rolling into the power, and the boost is so consistent. It just rolls right on in. It doesn't jump in out of nowhere. It just rolls on the power super consistently. Now, we are going to need to bring uh, this trailer back because, well... Um, so, remember how I said I borrowed it from a friend of mine? Well, she texted me while I was on the way back and was like, Hey, I have another job coming up and I need that trailer back, like, now. And I was like, you said I could have it for, like, the entire day. And she was like, well, I, I know, but as soon as you get back to town, I legit need that trailer back. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that was also kind of putting a little bit of a time constraint on us. So what we need to do is we need to head to the right, drop this thing off at the shop for repairs, and let them go through, like, the engine, the bodywork, the suspension, the axles, and hopefully it's, you know, still drivable, still usable. It looks okay, but you never know what can get torn up in a rollover, or even when something rolls on its side like this one did. So we're going to drop this one off, let it chill for a bit, let them go over it and go through everything, and then we're going to run this trailer back to our friend's house, and then we're going to head back home, but we're also going to make sure that we collect our payment for the recovery. Now, this one was quite the ordeal, so we are going to be charging a little bit more for this one, but that's actually going to work out better for us in the long run, because it's going to allow us to pick up some much-needed upgrades and additional equipment that we can use in the near future. So, let's bring this thing around. All right, not too bad. And let's see if we can get you up to the door. Or at least close to the door. It's not too bad. They should be able to roll you in from there. All right, let's go ahead and... We're just going to leave this thing running. We're going to undo the straps. And uh, we're going to let them roll that into the garage. And then from here, well, we're just going to head... Uh, we're just going to head on home. So this is going to go into the garage. Boom, done. And then now we head on outside again. Grab this thing and head on home and of course remember to drop this trailer off on the way back but that's gonna do for this one y'all and i'll see y'all in the next episode